Hey guys, in this video, a very quick message. Um, and basically, what I'm going to say, because I've, I've made some serious mistakes tonight, and uh, this kind of goes in line with what um, goes in line with what I was talking about earlier in my last video. Uh, if you didn't watch that, go watch it about not reversing too quickly. Along with that, guys, um, does the market usually move up 176 points in the overnight session? No, but yesterday was FOMC day, and we've got a big disruption of liquidity right now. So they're really disrupting all the liquidity, the settled liquidity, and, and you know it'll get back to normal next week. Um, the Not only can you not reverse too quickly, so basically here's what I'm saying, right? You need to trade in the same direction all the way up into a higher time frame liquidity or inefficiency is delivered. So you should really be following the same direction for an extended period of time. I hope that that makes sense. Um, you should be trading uh, in, in the direction that you think the higher time frame liquidity is going. So, you know, even if the market is chopping around, only, you know, you really need to be sticking with like one side of the market for an extended period of time. You got to wait until the market has really convinced you that it has reversed before you, you pick the other direction. And then, okay, so we, we've talked about that. Guys, the other thing is that if you miss the move, you miss the move. You got to learn to accept it and not try to rush back into the market. Don't so let's say, for example, we're sitting here on a 15-minute chart, and we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. We're at seven green candles in a row, and I've got no real PD array that I can see that would would want would inspire me to just hit the market long right now. I mean, I think it'd be pretty stupid for me to just hit the market long, but I also don't want to just hit the market short. There's there's nothing telling me that the market is going to come back either. So what am I doing? I'm just nothing. Any any if I if I go long right now. At, with no PD array telling me to go long. Yeah, could it keep going even higher? Yeah. If I go short right now, I got no PD array telling me to go short. Not on a not on a shorter time frame. So what do I have to do? I just have to sit. I uh, and that and that's the thing you got to learn to do, guys. If you miss the move or you miss a part of the move or the move goes a lot further than you thought it would go, you just got to sit back and just wait. And there's nothing you can do about that. Um, so if you miss the move, you've got to wait for the next move. There's no, there's no choice about it, guys. You can't um, cry about it. You just wait for the market to, to show you signs that it's about to go in the other direction. And that's it. You just wait for the next move. Uh, it, the market swings, guys. It, it, it does not just go endlessly up and endlessly down as much as sometimes it seems like it'll only go endlessly up. Uh, it will swing again. And you must wait. You must wait until you've seen a definitive sign, a PD array, something. So in this video, guys, my short and sweet message is if you miss the move, wait. Who cares? You miss the move. Wait for the next one. There will always be another swing. Always. Always, guys. And you're day trading. It doesn't matter how far it goes or not. Okay? So you must, 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 must wait until the market shows you a PD array in the opposite direction. It's got to show you something. So you can't, when the market is in a real extended move like this, I would not recommend just smashing long at the very top like this, guys, because this thing could plunge at any second. Uh, and you've got nothing really telling you. The op last black candle was eight candles ago. That was hours ago. If you just hit the market long right now, guys, this thing could go back down 50 points, 60 points, 100 points on you very quickly, and then you're busted. So, anyways, um, you must wait for a PD array, for a signal, for something that is in your system and that you see and that you're, that you're clear with. You cannot reverse too quickly, and you generally need to trade in the same direction for extended periods of time. I hope this helps, guys. In this video, we talked about how if you missed the move or you missed a part of the move or the move went a lot further than what you thought it would, you just have to wait. You have to wait until the market starts swinging again. You, 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 you know, it could go up another 100 points. And as long as it's making green candles and it's not showing me any willingness to show me a PD array or give me an entry signal, I'm just whatever. Just wait until it decides that it's done. 
all I can do. Bye-bye.